A closer look at Jinping May Chapter 25, there is no perfect victim here. And she was only allowed to work but not allowed to see anyone. There are still people who are having bad luck one after another, and the dominoes have just begun to fall. They have little to do with buns and buns. Most of the time, their hair is pulled into a nest on the top of their head and tied with a mesh shell, that is, a bun. There is really not much room for development. Therefore, they pay special attention to this headdress. Does she deserve to be on an equal footing with us? So they work together to stop her. There is nothing trivial about housework. It is a sure field everywhere. Here, Simon Kingshing arranged for Lai Wang'er to go to Tokyo, but Song Huilian had just put the matter on hold for the time being and saw that an anecdote from the local area was about to come to an end. Halfway through, Ben Jinlian was killed again. Each mountain is higher than the other, and she uses her sharp tongue to make trouble in the plains. Let's hear what she say. My wife is just. For him, for us, I fear a great I fife us. I just not good for a peyote. And it is not good for you to send him out to do business. If you keep him at home, comma, sooner or later, you will not have these eyes to guard against him. If you send him a wages, ha ha suza jirakalidol. And the first the nagality onakik. If you want the slify, you might as well shimim him. As the saying goes, I few cut the grass dorum. These sprouts will stall. I few cut the grass. These sprouts will stall. If the root is Ramon toward, Evan ya want the fairy dairy. Ani conversati in quindix. And he planted toward ye interiorism as is imimi. Ziopan eris ricker grisksen. Haunt make sure shin tourists point a few. Stizel separta clagenti. This method disclagen shortage a principle in psychology. Thoughtus. I few out in thing. You will a season hysterian. This can a media territory. UDID in single quotes T listen and only came to ask the elder sister dot. As the saying goes coal and trust people comma lose it. Ladle, you did something ger. Hawaiko ni doi balam. Heck elm la pointude win temium. Did yow seat. On the surface. This disputize bonton. Butine fact. I just three women wear a buried and tens instit. I fath ed not being foes. Flair wildneth and glangen. If ath ed not being flings. There will have a been torn stone. If a thadnit been fanfaren, flair wold nath if intentinaf. First class rallies. There is a dragonst and trend, killing people with goduce. In Greek mythology, Susan says in the fellas to stia, honest these and see for fairest destinies. And fortunately, in the world of Jinping Mai, blessed Wakula is Eliza. This is a group of people who have been forgotten and ignored by the gods. Dot in this process leading to tragedy, comma, the perpetrators are certainly not good people, comma, but the victims are not innocent people either. They're very no perfect tic To serial poor Fentorian, they get a gagetheric. They'll are words and will attaves, and have nothing to do with nobility and purity. Dot it makes the viewer feeling fear in my heart, comma, I am glad that I do and t have to be with, comma, neighbor, comma, or companion of them. Well, Kenneth help you to Latisti and Alinananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananan
Let Lei Wenberg Oxen's power to avenge Zhang Kong. From this point of view, comma, her relationship with Lai Wang is not because she has an irreconcilable conflict with Zhang Kong. In a more like you starister, findino therpreter, and get some benefits for herself and Zhang Kong, comma, so that they can the days seem fuller and richer. Dot with this kind of survival mentality. If you encounter exents, of course you have a la for occur. While Li Wang Wasway, after Sen Samang Kung, Sheng got mixed up with sense. Heat Milan seeds played in the swing and set the connection to fifth fifth fifth. During the winter flasts, he went out wearing panjay and L I A N single quotes S S hose semicolon while playing cards. Comma he yelled and yelled at Wu Comma, which made Yu Lu angry. It seemed that Shapiro plans forbidden areas. Orsha saw them in one ten ten. In such a game, she gained undone precedent on her forehead. Wanter Luco extra refinee. She didn't know if Ekwerik Tessen and Sent Seist Seize, Les Delaweth Air for Tendal, Hi Lilian Stata Tefin Spiana, Ho Just Enter at Ofi Felishif, Hi Allo Wed is a Fortentair, Thunking the Thit Hortend, Why Dold have a Toff Elitaf? I did not go Spoo Boo to plan a cack, Tinta Saptera Sabent. Therefore, it can regard that a Govor between Twa Goldens, So Mechamenta Taurus, Song Huliana Sakrab, and a Twiren Ramestiantas, Panjin Lioness saw Scorpon, and it still will Fefefostini and Onsen. Simon Kinjazama Goat, without head or tail, comma, turning up and down, comma, only knowing I just drilled blindly and still had no consciousness at this moment. It was just like he popped by Manipula Tetri, comma, and seemed bidium and crab and jolt and Latusa Scorpion really hit the nail head. However, Ta think that's a mensing maggot who was allow wet to brew uber just to look down on sense, and more inclined question to nick a kick. I didn't thave for moaning. He listens to Jin Leon for a while and Hua Leon for a while. Dot it's more because and dost care about Deling Tang. He has no short adjacents, and a more a person will lease him. On don't a less personal In this incident, Hai Sen like concern is doff if Lei Wang guys a bibik stole. Bun twin it comes shin ting and Sai Man King Gizela Fiedi. Poison would a landi and tintian. Avoid was exwandrial. Of course, does it contraps rendens. Tinris pro babant la fendizen. Jin Lion Norilo Fintirand, Tondi Porman Stefant. Has thought it washin tunta, so's broking to fafer attend, different verse of fentifism. In Thestera book, Lai Wanga purse dolly, but thigh still for Fran XB. This tree ate meant in Tinjiari Nanan. Butel Sakri Tefant and Tifi Fa 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 Fnanant and Ton Tonant and Tay. Flepper San Yuwawala Baiti, the Ine Rita Pathist. In Thepper Trait book, Lai Wang him sulfaleds, Ha hasten a fair witchiness. When horse of O's, Hathing Satsunsi, Hastel Plams with Eisters, this may be an Athephaliklan, but no matter Wickers, Lai Wang called not S. After being captured, he just sighed getting to Fententen. It seemed that the West Dallas Dal, Husel and Renewed were enters, Shecknall Town to Plafard, Shebla Medsam and Cording, Stingle Sora Vela Flintras, looking good the Budevs, he shred laying, even a few we out wine, it doesn't matter, Animan Waffle Lala Ferrest. Shed a thought she quint wed well, but unfortunately, this was Jesher Winkang, ever since Leawan Torrentons. Huili and DID in single quotes TCOMB her hair, comma DID in single quotes TW ash her face, comma hot a yellow face, comma, and cried behind closed doors all day long. Is this gals at Bialadins, or is it a cruel trick Christian tacax dos taws, junging from hair ultifs? It doesn't look like Caratal, in order to resquilafen. Hunali and see Garabarista, Tinit Wagreed the Flafinte, Alta Fashaha Drenchrent, Shka had no firth in Kenstantons. Therefore, this Sagramanthus Lossum, Butit seems like how in one situation, Shedded Klimbi Donfing, Buse headed not La Feflifsa, the size of Batov Kindus, and Dakin Dafalatinti. If Wedger analogy, it is probably like we quiarif zian 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 of course, if Song Jiang exterilates, then Liku will wold in cryony. However, unless force it oath and, Liku will do with Derek's dia, like he pc of your John Jerp. Sung William is naked, in no sentence listle, physical it asli, but the safe feeling go fin tintifes, after the men sing in Taranadin, Vady City Dorellas, Huili and Wasfri Pod, and Rishalafera Derekriant, where Shkald and Thelp Yunjul among her daughter in Lawan maids, this is to finit allegation. Nas to mention Thori and Eles, even if Thrice non it can it better scladdened. What if it doesn't talk? 
Of course, if Shaq won't out a boy story, then chuld me Alec. This news was for Bibi. And the new Luan Tunasti. Zyman singlist and TNTs. In the Stegafor. Quillian lost. After no wing third. Her heart be commeled. Lokot wat sheshafidruf. Maiman. Huat bad thing di shuzian. Uurius lafrey. And yowded into the glyph of fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-fa-f
they will encounter unbearable things several times. However, life can teach us, if we put everything back into the river of time, it will be accustomed to seeing all separation and destruction, and will eventually grant us peace of soul. A closer look at Chapter 27 of Jinping Mei. This is not just a romantic affair. Chapter 27 is the most famous chapter of Jinping Mei in the market. Even those who have not read this book will still talk about the erotic great rack plot. The title of the most obscene book in the world is probably inextricably linked to this episode. Is this also the reason why Jinping Mei was listed as a banned book? The scale is really too big. But pornography is indeed the unique charm of Jinping Mei. Just like a dream of red mansions without the instruction of the vigilante fairy, Bao Yu's youthful enlightenment cannot be opened. Just like white deer playing without those heavy sexual descriptions is not enough to set it off. The tragic social background at that time, if Jinping may extracted these plots, it would be missing a lot of reflections of the characters' personalities. It feels like the chapters not suitable for children this time are still set according to the respective personalities of the protagonists in the book. I remember, one of my literary friends told me that he was never embarrassed to admit that he had read the Golden Ping Mei. Every time he read the Golden Lotus, he would do so secretly. Sometimes he even put a different cover on it, for fear that others would know that he was reading it. Little porn book, especially this time. But reading Dream of Red Mansions is completely different. It can be made public openly. Thinking about it, it seems that I am too, but before I was sneaking round because I was embarrassed, but after that I felt suffocated and couldn't bear to watch. As I get older, I feel that our love for Dream of Red Mansions is nothing more than because Dream of Red Mansions has filtered the filth in Jinping Mei with a beautiful filter. And then we have that unearthly, paradise-like world. Grand View Garden has always been about longing for beauty. Therefore, using Dream of Red Mansions to isolate the turbulent worldly conciliation in Jinping Mei has a somewhat healing effect. So, it doesn't matter. The title this time is actually very serious. Leaping or whispers in the Jade Pavilion. Pan Jinlian is drunk and making noise in the grape rack. It actually reads a bit poetic. And from the title, you can also read a bit of the character's personality. Leaping or S whisper reveals a bit of warmth and harmony and has a bit of a wifely style and worldly stability. What does it mean to you and me? and Pan Jinlian's drunk trouble combined with the erotic sex under the grape trellis, is the highest version of a woman who loves jealousy and competition for favor. At that time, Song Huilian had just hanged herself, but the Garden of Zyman Mansion was filled with singing and dancing. It was a beautiful day in midsummer, a pot of Daphne flowers was planted in front of the Jade Pavilion, and it was in full bloom. Simon King ordered Lai Anner to hold a small watering can and watch the watering, I saw Pan Jinlian and Li Ping are wearing white and silver striped gauze shirts and tightly. Whereupon colored gauze with gold threads and muddy skirts at home, Li Ping is a red Jia Bu Jia, and Jinlian is a silver red Jia. But the golden lotus does not wear a crown, dragging a nest of Hangzhou Chue Yanzi nets, with its four sides exposed, and three green flowers on its forehead, which makes its pink face and oily head more and more obvious and its red lips and white teeth. The two walk over holding hands and smiling. This beautiful scene has a bit of the tone of time flies like a fleeting time, like flowers and beautiful families. You see, Simon King put down all his affairs and didn't bother to comb his hair. He lazily watched the servants watering the flowers, golden lotuses and bottles, wearing homely clothes. The beauty-loving and show-off looking woman has her golden lotus hair. Spread out, and three pretty emerald-faced flowers on her forehead. The two of them came hand in hand without any grudge, and Simon King picked the flowers tenderly. The smart golden lotus snatched one and put it on her head. While Simon King was laughing, he did not forget to pick one for the silently pinger beside him, and also sent someone to give one to each of the other three ladies, flower, who said Jinping Mei is all obscene. This paragraph actually describes the beautiful relationship between each other in a very charming and picturesque way. However, in this beautiful scene, while Simon King and Li Pinger were in love, Pan Jinlian accidentally overheard that Pinger was pregnant. 
This was so good that Xiao Pan immediately changed his face. It seems that the most unforgiving person in Jinping Mei is Pan Jinlian. She always plays the art of sarcastic language to the extreme, and her verbal offensive with guns and sticks, let alone leaping her mouth. Even Simon King often laughs and curses. Helpless. Pan Jinlian didn't sit on the chair, but only sat on the porcelain turret. Meng Yulu called out, Fifth sister, please come over and sit on this chair. That cool peer is just too cold, Jin Lian said. It doesn't matter. My old man is not afraid of freezing the fetus. What are you afraid of? Next, Yu Lu said. Fifth sister, why do you only eat cold food today? Jin Lian said with a smile. My old man has nothing to do, so I'm afraid. What kind of parfait? Once again, there was a hidden meaning in his words. Li Ping'er was standing next to him. His face red and white. Simon King glanced at him and said, You little slut. You only talk nonsense. It's all for nothing. Jin Leon said, Brother, you talk too much. The old mother ate dried bacon in her sleep. Just a little bit of it. What do you care about him? Look, no other woman can match Jin Leon's sharp and witty words. Yun Yang is airy. Yu Lu is reserved. Li Jiaoer is lazy. Sun Zue is stupid. But Jin Lian is the little leader among this group of women. Good at a woman who is charming, can bite, and can act coquettishly can always use this method to cleverly offset her own evil in front of men. This is the reason why Simon King always uses Jin Lian to do nothing. It's no wonder that in the world of Jin Ping Mei, sex and survival are nakedly dependent, entwined with interests, and are the hub for exchanging resources. Especially for the lower class women in this book, sex as their transactions are the foundation of their lives. Wang Liwer tried his best to cater to his poor family so that he could get some charity. Song Huilian dedicated herself to Simon King and immediately changed her life situation. Even Jin Lian, the fifth mother, had to compromise sexually if she wanted to get a fur coat. Ingratiating with Simon officials. For women who are trying to survive under the influence of men, what else can they do besides competing for favors and capital? Especially a woman like Jin Leon who has no money at all, has to do her best to survive in Simon Mansion. In the situation where she was begging for a few tales of silver and resorting to all kinds of tricks, leaping her unexpectedly got pregnant quietly. What does it mean to have an heir? It means that the status has been greatly improved and the position has become more unshakable. With such a strong enemy, can Pan Jinlian be willing to do it? In fact, this time, the more I look at it, the more I feel pity for Pan Jinlian. Behind all her arrogance, there is a deep sense of insecurity. In order to compete for favor, she always strives to be strong. The most favored Li Ping'er does not know how to play a musical instrument. But she can not only play the pipa, but also learn the yukon from Yulu. She really lives hard, but is it useful? Nothing is worse than Pingeras money and his upcoming son. What impressed me most this time was Simon King's affectionate sung preface to Liang Zhou by a group of his women. I trained in the evening and passed by Nang Shan. I saw the red makeup on the pool was messy, gradually there was a faint thunder. And the rain stopped and the clouds dispersed. But I smelled the fragrance of lotus for 10 miles. And the crescent moon was a hook. This beautiful scene was infinite. There is a sudden noise of new cicadas in the willow shade. And I see the flowing fireflies flying into the courtyard. Where can I listen to the song of water chestnuts? Paint the boat and return home late. I only see the jade rope low and the red door silent. This scene is still enviable. Get up and hold your bare hands to calm the clouds. The moon shines on the yarn and the cook is awake. The ripples are playing with colorful mandarin ducks. And the green lotus is turning. The fragrance is pouring down and the pearls are splashing. The fragrant fan, beside the grass, beside the leisure pavilion. I feel refreshed and healthy when I sit there. Peng Lai Lang Yuan is not enviable. Look, the scenery in the Jade Pavilion is so beautiful. It can be compared with the Grand View Garden in a dream of red mansions. The moonlight is accompanied by the fragrance of lotus. And the water waves play with the mandarin ducks. It is so beautiful that it is both poetic and picturesque. However, the epigrammatic epilogue chorus at the end made me suddenly feel the slightest hint of coolness. 
I am afraid that the west wind will startle autumn again. And the years will change secretly. Happiness and beauty will grow wings and fly away. Have people who indulged in this situation ever thought of it? Just over a year later, after the lively and prosperous life, Ping Er, who held the red ivory and elephant board accompaniment, died tragically. And then Zyman King, the backbone of this group of beauties, also died. And the Zyman mansion suddenly collapsed. The west wind blows again. And in just a moment, this beautiful garden becomes silent. Therefore, when reading Jin Ping Mei, no matter how colorful the scene is, I still feel a little bit of fear and discomfort creeping into my heart from time to time. Just like this time's gorgeous love affair and ultimate happiness. Still wearing a black shackles, making people feel confused from time to time. It feels suffocating. And when I look back and read it, I can't help but feel scared. At the beginning, I went to Tokyo to successfully bribe. And I was overjoyed. Then, I beat Song Huilian's father to death. Then, the small garden was filled with tenderness. And the grape trellis was extremely lustful. And the ending was with Jin Leon sternly warned the little iron stick to be careful and ended with a beating. It was a mixture of joy and sorrow, tension and relaxation, sparks flying, and thrilling. I felt that everything was tightly connected, but I couldn't help but sigh again and again. Song Huilian died, and her father died. The two bloody lives were just brushed aside, and no one took them seriously. Even if Song Huilian and Simon King had a happy talk, even if Song's father only felt sorry for her death, it was a bit unfair, but Simon King seemed to have forgotten all this in the blink of an eye. How could he feel any pity when he was ruthless? As ordinary as the death of two insignificant ants, this careless cruelty can be found everywhere in the plum and the golden vase. Therefore, the very obscene and violent sexual intercourse under the grape trellis is more like a violent act in another image, as shocking as the dead man. It is nothing more than a manifestation of Lord Simon's abuse of the body to show his power and power. How is this a romantic affair? It is also the light and shadow of swords in the real world. The unpredictable hand of fate is approaching everyone step by step. A closer look at Chapter 28 of Jinping Mei, the story of a shoe. It was said that Pan Jinlian lost her shoes, and she returned to her attic with one foot bare. The two people's sport under the grape trellis was quite intense. Simon King, who has the Olympic spirit, is heading towards a longer, stronger and more passionate goal. And Pan Jinlian is stimulating the senses. A woman with small feet and a lack of exercise would not be able to withstand the torment of a big fat cow. Pan Jinlian seems to be having a lot of fun. But the leader was in a deep coma for a long time. Whether he was really having fun or performing a high-level passive pleasure depends on his mental state. After exercise, at least this time, sexual abuse would be more appropriate. Shoes are the life of a woman with small feet, and one of her feet went home crookedly without wearing shoes. It can only be said that in order to be evenly matched with the stronger and longer Zyman King, Pan Jinlian almost fought with her life, squeezing her body's potential to the extreme. That's why I'm so confused. The two returned and continued to have fun on the bed. With ventriloquism taking the lead and extreme sports taking the back seat, Simon King finally fell asleep with satisfaction. Pan Jinlian didn't get up until dinner. And then she realized that her shoes were missing. Where did the shoes go? Surrounding this turmoil of asking for shoes, looking for shoes, and getting shoes, the word shoe was mentioned so many times. Counting it carefully, there were as many as 60. Of course Pan Jinlian wants to get to the bottom of everything. Chan Mai is responsible for being a thuck and supervising. The unlucky Kyu Ju became the only one to be held accountable. She was scolded, searched for, beaten, and knelt in the courtyard, holding stones against her head. Meng Yu Lu's hairpin fell, and she had never been so tortured to search the world for it. Women's hairpins, shoes, sweat towels, sachets and other personal items that have been used personally can be gossiped about by people with evil intentions. Later, Chen Jingji took Meng Yulu's hairpin and tried to coerce her into committing adultery. This directly caused Meng Yulu's third marriage to be in turmoil. And her happiness almost came to nothing. Without Kyuju, it would probably be difficult to know how vicious Pan Jinlian was.
She is Pan Jinlian's punching bag. Pan Jinlian will torture Kyu Ju when she feels unbalanced, angry, desperate, and helpless. In the reader's eyes, Kyu Ju is a stupid but really pitiful girl. But in the author's eyes, she is almost reduced to a tool to express Pan Jinlian's inner distortion. If a person feels safe, has love, and has his real needs met, he must be tolerant and even loving toward others and the world. For example, Li Pinger was originally a lewd, cruel, and shrewd person who refused to let Pan Jinlian go. However, her life is much better than that of Pan Jinlian. She finally has all the money and sex. It turned out that Simon King greatly satisfied her long-term sexual hunger with Liang Zhangshu and Yunikua, and she has always had financial freedom. Therefore, she quickly transformed and became almost like a bodhisattva, always holding a purification bottle and spreading nectar. She was considerate of Simon King, took care of the daughter of Simon King's ex-wife, tolerated Pan Jin Lian, and did not come to visit her goddaughter when she was ill. She also left her a share of money and arranged the whereabouts of her servants before she died. Sex where life and emotion are intertwined recharges people, and a fully charged person shines. Judging from Pan Jin Lian's torture of Kyu Ju, the great wreck only exhausted Pan Jin Lian's physical potential. Such a two-person movement cannot inspire life itself, but can only make life more anxious and chaotic. The result is either consuming oneself, finding another way out, or destroying others. The reason why Pan Jin Lian is Pan Jin Lian is that she did not consume herself in vain, but took the latter to baths. Pan Jin Lian has an incarnation as Wang Liur, who tries her best to please Simon King, even more than she does, allowing him to burn incense on her body at will. Likewise, such a relationship between a man and a woman cannot be healthy. After Simon King's death, Wang Liur swallowed Simon King's huge sum of 1,000 tails without hesitation and ran to the new world. The harder you try to please, the deeper the depression becomes, and the deeper the depression the more violent a person becomes. The vicious torture finally led Kyu Ju to be obsessed with bringing down Pan Jin Lian. When the relationship between Pan Jin Lian and Chen Jingji came to light, they were kicked out of Simon's house by Wu Yunyang. Without the protection of Simon's high wall and the iron gate, Wu Song easily took Pan Jin Lian's life. Where did the shoes go? The author's skill in threading the thread is extremely profound. After Simon King's death, Zhang Erguan took over his official position, and Chen Jingji took over the role of sex, playing out a new story with Simon King's women. Chapter 18 describes Chen Jingji's first meeting with Pan Jinlian. Pan Jinlian opened the curtain and came in, with a flower in her silver hairdo, and said with a smile, Who did I ask? It turns out it's brother-in-law Chen here. In panic, Chen Jingji twisted his neck and turned his head. When he saw him suddenly, his heart was shaken and his soul was gone. It's exactly this, enemies meet after 500 years and love meets each other after 30 years. Since then, although Wu Yunyang opened the door to confinement many times, and the two of them met each other, their relationship has not made any substantial progress. Now the opportunity rises. Pan Jinlian's shoes were picked up by the iron rod and then fell into Chen Jingji's hands. He took off the shoes in his sleeves and thought to himself, I played with him several times. And his mouth was still alive, but when he got to the middle, he rolled away again. Unexpectedly, this shoe fell into my hands. Today I if you really tease him a bit, you won't be afraid that he won't be accepted. In fact, there are no taboos in Pan Jin Lian's world. Not only did she take the initiative to invite Chen Jingji upstairs, she also met him without even putting on makeup. She knew her own beauty very well and deliberately teased him to let him see her most beautiful look. The woman's black oily hair was combed with her hands in hand, and it was dragging on the floor. This scene was indeed thrilling for Chen Jingji to watch. The ensuing flirtation was very smooth, and the bickering and bickering seemed like Pan Jin Lian's many rose petals in her bun came to life, and the air was filled with a fragrant and sweet smell. This was something Pan Jin Lian didn't have with other men. Zhang Da who has a sense of decadence, Wu Daling is afraid of the fumes, and Wu Song has a sense of failure because she can't get enough of oil and salt. When she met Simon Kang, she was still a novice, 
basically waiting semi-passively for Zyman King to flirt. As for Chen Jingji, they have matching looks. They are both still young, they both know how to flirt. They are constrained by their status, and they have the excitement of breaking through taboos. Chen Jingji asked Pan Jinlian sweat towel to exchange for shoes. Jingji said, you want shoes and a thing, and I will give them to you in exchange, otherwise the thunder will not be able to strike out. The woman said, what a short life. Should I give my shoes back to you in exchange for anything? Jingji said with a smile, Wu Nying, take the sweat scarf on your sleeve and give it to your son. My son will be given to you, shoes. The woman said, I'll look for a good scarf tomorrow. Your father has seen this scarf all day long, and he doesn't want to give it to you. Jingji said, I don't. It doesn't matter if you give me a hundred square meters for anything else. All I want is your square sweat towel. The woman smiled and said, What a short-lived person who has been stuck for a long time. I don't have the energy to get involved with you too. So he took out a thin piece of white silk fringe from his sleeve picked up a sweat scarf with ying ying and burn night fragrance, and even the word silver was plundered for him. The relationship between the two officially broke the taboo. From then on, the two will move towards higher taboo heights until they destroy each other. Although Chen Jingji may be the only person who has truly loved Pan Jinlian, whether the young man's flirting was true or not, Pan Jinlian was pleased. She seemed to be in a better mood. As soon as Chen left, he still had to be Kyuju, but only 10 times. In response, Chun Mai said, Mother, I'll beat you too much. If it were me, I'd call a boy outside and beat him hard. 30 boards, let's see how the slave is doing. In comparison, torturing Kyuju from behind was indeed considered light. After Li Pinger gave birth to her son, Pan Jinlian, who was extremely repressed and jealous, was never so easy to talk to. The most cruel time was when she picked up a stick and beat Kyuju without explanation, almost beating Kyuju to death. The shoes came back from Chen Jingji. Whose shoes did Kyuju find in the snow cave of Zhang Chanwu? It belongs to Song Huilian. In Chapter 26, Song Huilian hanged herself to death. But her role didn't end until the 28th episode. Huilian's original name was Jinlian. Because of the same name, Jin was changed to Hui. These two words represent the transformation of this character from utilitarian to divine. In the novelist's pen, no name is chosen casually. Moreover, Lanling Xiao Xiao has a tendency to give characters various meanings and ironies. Song Huilian looks like the most ordinary woman. I like beauty and hope that beauty can be realized, leaving the greasy stove and becoming a wealthy and idle person. If you like strong handsome guys, you will get them if you like them. Be with whomever you like. Smile happily when you are satisfied. And want the whole world to know. This is what many ordinary girls are like. This is Song Huilian's appearance. She is human inside. Human conscience refuses to give in to excessive desires. While pursuing its own bright future, it also abides by inner loyalty and order. So she avenged her ex-husband Zhang Kong and married Lai Wang. Being with Simon King will make you feel ashamed and lie. The condition for agreeing with Simon King is to get Lai Wang a new wife and a better future. After learning that she was the cause of all the misfortune in Lai Wang, the bright future she had longed for could no longer enter her heart, and she decided to end her life. Hardy has a novel test with the subtitle A Pure Woman. The fate of the heroine test swings between two men, and love and sex also swing between two men. Tess first couldn't stand the temptation of the rich boy she gave birth to a child and died soon after. Then, she couldn't stand the temptation of love, and then she couldn't stand the test of fate. Finally, she murdered the rich boy and went to the gallows herself. If Tess is a pure woman, then Song Huilian is not a loyal woman. If society's requirement for women's loyalty is not to have only one sexual object, but to stick to their conscience, and be loyal to the constant moral order in their hearts, just like men are required to do. Then Song Huilian is the most loyal woman in the book The Plum and the Golden Ping and deserves to be choose the word Hui in the name. Song Huilian could not pass the hurdle of conscience, but Pan Jinlian raised the height of the hurdle again and again, sinking Wang into darkness, and finally forced Song Huilian to death. Although Song Huilian made a frivolous technical mistake, 
there is no perfect victim. Her death was still due to Pan Jin Lian's jealousy and provocation. After forcing Sung Hui Lian to a dead end with her own hands, the part of Pan Jin Lian who was a healthy person died. If the novel only ends here, Pan Jin Lian will be just an ordinary member of the hundreds of millions of women harmed by fate and will not become Pan Jin Lian. Pan Jin Lian only became Pan Jin Lian because on the way to becoming the flower of evil, she had the courage to become the female Simon King. Iwu Jiwu is a luxury item in Jinping Mei, and Simon King forces Song Huilian's father to death. Although he keeps one of her shoes as a souvenir, when this shoe appeared in front of Pan Jin Lian, even death could not dispel Pan Jin Lian's hatred. How could ordinary principles, such as the deceased, is the most important restrain Pan Jin Lian? Besides, she was not alone in digesting Wu Yun Young's grievances and jealousies. Simon King is the king of this family and dominates everything, and Pan Jin Lian dares to attack him directly. When Simon King came back in the evening, Pan Jin Lian, after a lot of anger, dealt with Song Huilian's shoes, get the knife. Wait until I chop the whore into several pieces and take her to the toilet. Call the thief and whore behind the mountain, and she will never be reincarnated. Yin Zhangqing said to Simon, the more distressed you look, the more I prefer to chop it into different shapes for you to see. Simon King smiled and said, It's weird, slave. Just put your hand away. I have such a heart, the woman said. You don't have such a heart, so you made a vow. The adulterer died and I don't know where to go, but you still keep it. What are his shoes for? Sooner or later, be wise and think about him. Just because every time I have sex with you, you have no intention of doing it and you still want to have the same plan with you. Such fierce jealousy, such deep-seated hatred, but also a single-minded heart. Reading it feels like tasting sweet poison, but a few hours ago, she was still hooking up with Simon King's serious son-in-law. A shrew, a poisonous woman and a prostitute, Pan Jin Lian combines the three evils into one body, making people shudder. Human nature is inherently evil, and this is where the author's coldness comes into play. The beaten iron rod saw Pan Jin Lian getting drunk and getting into trouble. Later, he also got a glimpse of Liu or Simon King getting drunk and getting into trouble again. He also got a glimpse of Sun Zue and Lai Wang stealing Simon King's property and starting a new family. Once again, Lai Wang is Song Huilian's husband, and Sun Zue is Simon King's concubine and Lai Wang's mistress. This chaotic world is decayed and primitive. Just like the animal world, everyone competes for survival resources and satisfies physiological desires based on their abilities. The laws of the forest dominate the humans in the plum and the golden vase, and sweet poison flows freely throughout the world. All right, this part of the story ends here. Want to know what happened next? Let's listen to the breakdown next time.